All right, MCRT. Uh, MCRT stands for mean cell residence time, and it means uh, the amount of time that a, uh, a cell or a bug is going to spend in your system before either being discharged as a waste activated sludge or uh, discharged out um, the back gate as your effluent TSS. And uh, so it's sort of like a detention time, uh, but it's much longer than a normal detention time. Uh, it's going to be measured in days, and you have to remember because it's it's not coming in and then going out. It's coming in, going out, and being put back through uh, return activated sludge. We're returning it back to the system, so it stays in for quite some time before it actually leaves. And uh, uh, MCRT is more important um, when you're in theory when uh, you're getting to a grade three exam. They're gonna wanna uh, they're gonna want you to understand MCRT and why it's important and uh, how long it needs to be to achieve certain tasks such as nitrification or denitrification. Uh, so the formula for MCRT is pounds of mixed liquor suspended solids, uh, it's not MLVSS, it's MLSS, in your secondary system, which is your aeration basin plus your clarifier, divided by pounds leaving the system per day your waste activated sludge plus your effluent TSS. So first we need to figure out how many pounds of MLSS is in the secondary system. So uh, we take 3.5 million gallons. <laughs> now some of you might be uh, wondering, you know, where did I get this 3.5? I don't see a 3.5 million gallons on, on anything they gave me. Well now remember, it's aeration basin plus the clarifier. So I went ahead and added those two together. Uh, you can do them separately. You can figure out how many pounds are in, are in the aeration basin and how many pounds are in the clarifier and then add them. Or you can just go ahead and add their volume in the beginning and you only have to do one pounds formula instead of two. So uh, this, is, this is kind of a faster way. So 2.5 million gallons plus 1 million gallons equals 3.5 million gallons times 8.34 pounds per gallon times 3,400 mixed liquor suspended solids milligrams per liter. And when you multiply all that out, you should get 99,246 pounds of mixed liquor suspended solids in the secondary system. So that's the top part of the formula. Now let's go ahead and find the bottom part. So pounds leaving the system per day. So we got 0 0.075, uh, and I forgot the mg, but it's million gallons. Uh, now, again, you might be wondering, where did you get this number? Well, I'm wasting 75,000 gallons per day. If I divide 75,000 by 1 million, it turns out into 0 0.075 million gallons. So that's where this number comes from. So 0 0.075 times 8.34 pounds per gallon times 6,500 milligrams per liter, which is my WAS, my waste activated sludge concentration. And when you multiply that, you should get 4,066 pounds wasted per day. So of the 99,246 pounds, you're getting rid of 4,000 a day. And, uh, and remember, this is um, regenerating, your bugs are dying or being wasted, and uh, Meanwhile, cells are multiplying and dividing, uh, so this number isn't just uh, getting smaller and smaller and smaller as the day goes by uh, when you waste and discharge. So uh, this number stays pretty fairly constant. Um, so we figured out uh, how many pounds wasted per day, your watts. Now we need to find out the effluent TSS. So we'll go ahead and multiply 5 MGD, which is our flow, times 8.34 pounds per gallon, times 8 milligrams per liter, which is my effluent TSS concentration, and you should get 334 pounds of TSS discharged per day. So we've got the top part of the formula. We need to add these two together to get the bottom part of the formula. So it's WAS plus effluent TSS. So when I go ahead and add 334 plus 4066, you should get 4,400 pounds leaving per day. So that's how much is leaving your secondary system total per day. Now we have the top part and we have the bottom part. Now let's put them all together. 
99,246 pounds of MLSS in your secondary system divided by 4,400 pounds leaving per day should give you an MCRT of 23 days. Um, and uh, like I said, when you're studying for grade three, you'll um, start to understand more what this number means. Uh, this number would be symbolic of an extended aeration plant as opposed to a normal activated sludge plant uh, because of its long, uh, its long MCRT. Uh, it would accomplish a lot more tasks uh, than your standard uh, aeration basin. And so, uh, like I said again earlier, these aren't problems you should be scared of. This was three pounds formulas, and then you added two of them together, and then you divided them. I mean, that's not hard. Like I said, if you can do a pounds formula, <clears throat> you can do MCRT, you can do F to M. It's nothing more advanced other than just learning where I need to pull these numbers from. That's the hardest part. So we didn't need the RAS flow, we didn't need this, uh, and that was it. We needed everything else to figure out this problem. So uh, just learn, learn the problem. Write these formulas the way I have them and memorize them that way. Uh, they give you F to M and MCRT, but they give you them in funny ways, which uh, I'm not big on the way they give them to you. They're kind of confusing, not, not all the way there. So go ahead and write it down this way and memorize it this way. Or write it on the cheat sheet when they give it to you uh, so that you don't have to uh, fully memorize it um, when you're actually doing the problem. All right, SVI. SVI stands for Sledge Volume Index. And it's a really easy problem. It's not uh, that labor intensive. And uh, so we have a flow of 3 MGD, a settling volume, SV, at 30 minutes of 300 milliliters per liter, a settling volume at 60 minutes of 280 milliliters per liter, MLSS 2700, MLVSSS, MLVSS 2120. Uh, too many SSs. And they want to know what the SVI is. And uh, SVI basically means um, how well the sludge is going uh, to settle in your secondary clarifier, the tendency for it to settle. And the formula for that is your SP30 times 1,000 divided by your MLSS milligrams per liter. And that will give you your SVI. So uh, I don't think they give you this formula on the cheat sheet, so it's important that you memorize this. And uh, so just write it down this way and memorize it that way, and you'll have no problem doing uh, the problem when they give it to you. So SV30 times 1,000. Our SV30 is 300 milliliters per liter times 1,000 will give us 300,000. Now we divide that number by our mixed liquor suspended solids concentration. 300,000 divided by 2,700 equals 111 milliliters per gram. Uh, it's kind of a unique um, form that it's in, milliliters per gram. Uh, but like I said, it's the, uh, the tendency for the sludge to settle in your secondary clarifier, and that's all you really need to know uh, for the exam. Uh, if they give this to you as a multiple choice question, you know, what does SVI mean? Uh, so let's go on.